Drake just hosted a stream with Stake, the online casino. He made millions of dollars while gambling. In 90 minutes, Drake's account balance went from $10 million up to $30 million, all the way down to $0. Spencer, you just said Drake won millions of dollars gambling. I did. My sentence, just like these online casino influencer relationships, are an example of misdirection. For me, um, me and Stake have obviously had a great partnership thus far. Drake did make millions while gambling, but it's from Stake paying him, not from him being a winning button presser. Stake is an online crypto casino quickly becoming a prevalent hobby for many Twitch streamers. A Wired review found that 64 of the top 1,000 most trafficked Twitch streamers have streamed crypto slots or advertised sponsorship deals from crypto gambling websites. Stake recruited one of the biggest celebrities in culture right now, Drake, to become its most influential endorser to date. Drake and Stake held a live stream on Twitch that generated multiple hundreds of thousands of live viewers watching Drake press buttons and hype up his sporadic victories. All love to Eddie. Shout out to Eddie from Stake. I'm about to smack your guy's head off tonight. My bankroll is heavy. I came here with real bread. While Drake gambled, he lost a lot of money, but also made an exorbitant amount. Just after telling Eddie, the owner of Stake, that he would be winning a lot of money, this happened. I'm blessing the people tonight. Get, 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 yes! Let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What did I say? I'm not playing around. Who are we blessing? Get, get on. Yeah, get on. We're tipping for sure. Yeah, we're tipping right now. We're tipping in the chat. In case you couldn't see it on the screen, Drake won $4.83 million on the previous roll. Then this happened on the next hand. Let's get it fired up. Uh, all right, we're going to call out Ooh, five people. I want right a back to back, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've seen that movie. Yeah, you've seen that I've movie seen before. That movie, yeah. yeah, we're blessing. We're blessing some people right now. That was a big hit, too. Get. Let's go. See, that's how quickly this game can turn around. Exactly. Drake won $3.03 million on the very next hand to bring his account balance up to $13 million. Within about 15 minutes, Drake had increased his account balance 30%. Talk about a get rich quick scheme. Oh my goodness, get over. Oh my yes! Back to back to back. Oh, trips. Trips? Yo, listen. When you have a good heart, a pure heart, this is what happens. Drake won another $3.03 million on the next hand, resulting in his balance surpassing $15 million. Ready to roll. Roulette is my game. I am a ritualistic better. I bet on my son's birthday. So that's how I'm going to start it off. My mom's birthday, my birthday. The first time his account balance is legible, it's around $8.8 .8 million, so my guess is he started with around a $10 million bankroll. By the end of this video, I'll see if you believe this was actually his money that he was playing with or it was stakes. Oh, that's why, because I am not. I haven't touched a shisha, that's why. Over the next 10 minutes, he wiped out his recent wins as his account balance dropped back to only $8.3 million. After a relatively small win, the big moment happened here. We need to see like at least a, a 20, 30 bag on his balance. Drake won almost $18 million with one click of a button. Do you understand how insane that is? He won $18 million by clicking a few buttons. Oh. We're blessing, we're tipping. I gotta, yeah, we're tipping. We're stick. tipping. You know why that happened? You know why that happened? Because baby walked in, that's why. And it's a repeat. Right, what did I say? We're getting, a, we're getting a balance to a 30 bag. Oh. If you've ever wondered why people get addicted to gambling, this is the easiest example. Drake turned $10 million into $28 million in 21 minutes. Ed Craven, the 26-year-old co-founder of one of the world's biggest online cryptocurrency casinos, Stake.com, has emerged as the buyer of one of Melbourne's most expensive homes. I wonder how he was able to do it since the online casino he runs allows people to click a button and make $18 million in 21 minutes. Get 14, we'll take yeah. that too. We'll take that from you too. Eddie, what did I tell you? It's my night tonight. <laughs> Eddie, what did I tell you? It's my night tonight. Just a minute later, Drake won another $2.34 million, pushing his balance to right under $30 million. What do you guys think happened next? Drake played game after game after game of roulette, blackjack, and plinko. Drake looked like a full-blown addict in this live stream. Each time he clicked the space bar, he was placing a $1,400 bet in a game that could lead to bankruptcy in about five minutes. I, I, I see you guys saying put something on zero, but you know, you know the key is I hate to direct the energy anywhere else than what we believe in. I always feel like, by the way, this is all luck, chance, and timing. So if you direct the energy somewhere else, it means you're nervous. I don't like to direct the energy away from what we believe in. The amount of logical fallacies that come out of gamblers' mouths could make for an excellent book. Drake claims the 
energy is an important variable in a game where he clicks a button. If any of you want an easy eight-figure business idea, figure out what dumb belief systems people have and then create a product that gets them to emotionally believe in that idea. Roulette's a heartbreaking game, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you play the way I play. I, I play like very religiously, so I've had some rough nights but i've had some incredible nights tonight is still an incredible night though we definitely doubled our balance so far my great product idea is a gambling bracelet where the energy from your bracelet flows into your space bar pressing and it leads to more winning before you poo on my idea just know that humans are incredibly dumb at purchase decision making when you sell their emotions and there's no easier sell than this product will make you money. Here's a fun little glossary of Drake's account balance throughout the night. At the 21 minute mark, he had $29.4 million, his peak. At the 41 minute mark, he had $20.4 million. 51 minute mark, he had 18.9 million. 61 minute mark, 13.9 million. 71 minute mark, 14.3 million. 81 minute mark, 9.3 million. Watching the replay was really interesting because I hope this chart indicates what's coming next. He hit a massive $18 million win and then it was slowly downhill from there. Get back? No. 26 is hot. The past couple of weeks have been really interesting to me because I've never been around gambling addiction. I don't understand why anyone would ever gamble unless they had an edge, so this world of crypto casino degeneracy is very new to me. Watching Drake was fascinating because he's a full-blown addict, as are all of the Twitch Gamba streamers who play on stake for hours in a row. Don't do it now, though. There we go. Four, there we go. Four for baby and then 11 for me. Seeing the way these guys navigate their bad luck by trying to switch up casino games, game rooms, energy in their conversation, or whatever non-factor they believe is the reason for their losses has been fascinating. Wow. I gotta stand up. No more beds, best of luck. While watching these degenerates on Twitch gamble, it's been so interesting to see how many believe winning is simply a matter of luck, as if their button clicking on a slot game is going to lead to riches if they just click it enough or in the right order. In this clip I just showed of Drake standing up hoping that superstition would lead him back to his $30 million balance was fascinating. This is minute marker 86 and he was down to only a $3.19 million account balance. By minute marker 89, Drake had run his account balance down to just $200,000. In 78 minutes, Drake lost $30 million in gambling. Does it finally register with you guys how much money these casinos make? The casino didn't make $30 million technically. Drake started with $10 million, so they cleaned him out in 90 minutes. But I wanted you guys to see how quickly luck turns when you play casino games. The casinos lured him in from the start, leading to him profiting $20 million in 21 minutes. But then just 80 minutes later, he wiped out his $30 million bankroll. All right, well, I guess stake one tonight. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm next time. Man. People I'm won tonight, man. Yeah, well, that's all that matters. The people won tonight. As long as you guys got blessed, I'll make it back. I'll be on late night, you know? Go get some dinner and then get fried and maybe come back on and try and win my money back. Throughout the stream, Stake through Drake gave away and advertised $1 million. Drake made money by being a brand ambassador, probably millions to be a paid endorser of Stake. But think of how much money Stake is making. They're able to pay these influencers so much money for streaming themselves playing casino games because they generate multiples more in revenue from their fans signing up and losing money. I found this chart on backlinko.com showing that 41% of Twitch users are under the age of 24 and 73% are under the age of 35. This same article indicates that 65% of Twitch users are male. Young males are heavily influenced by the allure of fame and fortune, making the crypto casino endorsements by popular influencers all the more powerful. I'm certainly not the person that's trying to cancel people or behavior. If people want to gamble, I'm all for it. If people want to promote gambling, make your money. My goal is to simply bring awareness to the reality of online casino gambling and expose the truth when influencers hide it from you for personal gain. Drake probably wasn't even playing with his own money in this live stream. In 90 minutes, he lost $10 million. If this was in fact his money, then he's losing significantly more money than you can imagine off stream. Here's what most people don't understand about casinos though. A game like roulette or some of the other games that these guys play have about a 5% house edge on money wagered. Drake had a $10 million count balance, right? So if he gambled $10 million in a short period of time, probability would say he'd be down about $500,000 and walk with 9.5 million. The most dangerous thing that can happen is that you win big early, up your bet size, bet more aggressively, and keep coming back chasing losses. What Drake did is he probably wagered about $200 million in the 90 minutes. The house edge works on total amount wagered, so a 5% edge would mean a loss of $10 million. That is why these online crypto casinos with their hidden house edge, because none of them are regulated in the US, will pay influencers millions of dollars to influence these 
young kids to sign up for their business. That's the secret formula for buying a $38 million house. Thanks for watching.